What's up, you guys? I'm King Chan. And Chan here. We have a special guest. Who we have, King? We have Gen Chan with us today here in Togoshi, Ginza Shopping Street. Gen Chan is the official mascot. He um, represents a lot of things health, love, romance, and he normally gives you a hint of what's inside the store. So here he has a fish. You can guess what inside here. So we're outside of Uoke. So they sell sashimi, they do Uber Eats. This is where we starting today. Time to hit the streets. Let's go. So we seen the bakery called Hoshino. About to break bread with my brother, man. Yes. Sir. Let's do it. First thing I'm trying is curry stuffed buns. I love my curry. I love my buns. <laughs> so we getting this look. Bacon and egg. Pizza looking thing. It looks delicious. Yeah, so, so I got Mill and Pond. I even found my friend on here. What's up, Gen Chan? First up, we have our uh, curry stuffed bun. Smells delicious. Cheers. Come pie. I like that, boy. Gotta crunch it outside. Rich curry. So we go with this. curry. It's all the vegetables inside. It's pretty good. Little bit crunchy part though. I'm liking that, man. So this is bacon and egg. Almost like a pizza. Very doughy looking. Mmm. Cheers. Cheers. Give me a sausage egg McMuffin mm -hmm. vibe. Sausage egg biscuit. And the bun tastes more like a croissant. Very doughy, of course. Would have been perfect if we had the yakitake sign, which means freshly baked. Freshly out the oven. Nice and warm. I got my guy Genshin with us and he's presenting a nice little smile for us. Dun, 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 dun. With this melon bread. Very popular in the Japanese culture. Sweet dessert, sweet treat. Mmm. Tastes like a cake. It's soft in the middle. Crunchy outside. Nice soft flakes in the inside of it. Tastes like I'm biting into a cloud. No state in Japan is complete without a melon bun. So we have a lot more to explore. This is the street you just go down. Check the spots out. Just explore Japan. Y'all know what that is. <laughs> True definition of street food. Japanese street food at that. Like cool little spot right here. All right guys, we're here at the second location. It's a whole Kaido special. If you guys remember the episode we did on that. I see caviar. I see caviar, fish eggs. What else they have here? Gyoza, they have ice cream, and they also have kakuni buns, which we're about to give a try right now. These are the flavors, delicious flavors of the gyoza, and we're actually gonna get Nita, the dark green one right here. Let's give this a try, I'm pretty excited. Konnichiwa. <laughs> So we have our kakuni bun. This one is soft all over. Mm -hmm. Really creamy in the middle. Very. The bun is it's a little doughy and it's a sweet kind of taste. The sweet and sauce a little bit. It is cheese. Definitely a win though with this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next up we have goza. I think mm -hmm. their famous flavors were veggie, mm -hmm. corn, mushroom, and garlic chives. Dive in. Oh. Oh good. This definitely was the garlic one. It's not your normal oh, no. size goza. You see how stuffed it is right there? That's huge. That's Texas size right there. Mouth water. Speechless. What's your favorite, Aunt Chan? I don't know, man. That was a tough decision. The goza was pretty good. I definitely like that kakoni bun. Definitely savory. Mm -hmm. Definitely tasty. Let's see what our next spot is. Let's ride. Mm -hmm.
こんにちは。かわいい。<笑>いや、もう85過ぎてるから。What do, what do you sell here? 城生菓子です。主にね、こういう城生菓子。これが明治神宮入れてるの。Okay. これあれね、今年も献上したんです。すごい。This is nice. So we're here getting wagashi. Wagashi. It's actually traditional Japanese treats. All these Japanese sweets are a thing for the season. Chrysanthemum, dry persimmon, I see bamboo, I see an egg yolk, different beautiful little perfect little bites. Hey you guys, this is a very special sweet shop. The treats have uh, even been sold to the Imperial family as a tribute. Shout out to the real one. This one is actually catching my eye right here. This is bamboo. Let's try this, let's give this a taste. Oh man, that's good. It has that sweet bean taste inside. Ooey gooey outside. Ooey gooey inside. Delicious. Go ahead and give one a taste. And try. Mmm. What's have we here? Mmm. It's pretty good. You like that? Like I said, the red bean noodle. It's dancing on my taste buds. Yeah. My dry persimmon. Let's give that one. Okay. So this one is all like bean. Very tasty. Gotta catch them all. Mmm. That's Got not very good. So. What's that? Definitely thin though. Mm -hmm. The last treat was Shido on which is made up of white bean, which is a little more delicate and thinner than the red beans. I definitely think this one is going to be red bean. Chestnut. Is chestnut inside on the open fire. This one quick. Red bean flavor. Chestnut top. This is how it sounds. Very good. So my personal favorite was the bamboo. For me, my favorite was the Shido on, which is here. It's actually made from white beans. I think it was my favorite because it caught me off guard. I got the so she gave us a Hi. nice little treat. <laughs> so nice of her. I was it outside. Oh my. So she actually gave us some treats to go. So nice of her. Arigato gozaimasu. So we're ending the day. We had a great time here in Togo Shigenza. I'm Ren Chan here. And I'm King Chan. And we're here with Yummy Japan. And we definitely found something to good to eat. In Japanese streets. <laughs> what we got next in our